Uh, today we will discuss about the level of organization uh, in more detail. At the end of this lecture, a student will understand about the different levels of organization and the scientific study of the different levels of organization of living beings help us gain an insight into the complexity of the, their structure and function. Uh, every organism on earth from the smallest to the largest one followed this establishment. This topic is of a great importance in the field of environmental science as it helps in establishing the significance of every living being on this planet. Environmentalists um, design ways to preserve their ecosystem through knowledge of these level of organization. The life that exists on earth is complex and most diverse in its form. Living beings have evolved from single cell or unicellular forms into complex and huge or diverse multicellular bodies. In this process of our development, their body system and mechanism have become specialized in nature. Thus, uh, in the course of evolution, different stages of increasing complexity were formed. As we all know that uh, there are 13 levels of organization in the sequence they are representing as an atom, molecules, organelle cells, tissue, organs, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome and uh, biosphere. As we all know that uh, an atom is the smallest particle of element. It is the most basic and fundamental unit of matter. It consists of positively charged nucleus and that is made up of protons and neutrons and revolving around them are negatively charged electrons. An atom that consists of an equal number of protons and uh, electron is a neutral and stable. In case of unequal number of protons and electron, it is termed as an ion. Ions are either positive or negative. Uh, atoms uh, may combine uh, specific ways uh, to form molecules or the formation of chemical bonds between two or more atoms lead to the formation of a molecule. It is one of the most fundamental and stable component of matter. Chemical compounds exist as a molecule. Then organelle uh, a structure within a cell that perform a specific function mm, is called organelle. Uh, it is a subunit of cells and consists of group of functioning biomolecules. Uh, organelles take part in the chemical reaction and interaction in the cellular processes of an organism. Organelles in eukaryotic cells are different from those in prokaryotes. A few examples include nucleus and chloroplast uh, um, in uh, plant cells and Golgi bodies and mitochondria in animal cells. Uh, so they are different. As you all know that a cell is the smallest basic unit and building block of life. It is born by a cell membrane and possesses a nucleus which acts as its brain. Cytoplasm uh, surrounds the nucleus which contains cell organelles like mitochondria, ribosomes, vacuole, endoplasm, reticulum, chloroplast, and peroxisome. Uh, you know, students, the average number of uh, cells in a human body is 100 trillion. They are known to bring about conversion of nutrients into energy reproduction and uh, to carry out uh, specialized functions. There are two types of uh, cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells have a smaller size and center form and let uh, a nuclear membrane enclosed nucleus as you can see in the picture. Eukaryotic cells are more specialized in structure than prokaryotic ones. So we will discuss uh, these cells in detail in our coming lecture. In multicellular life form, cells of a similar type combine to form uh, tissue and perform a particular function. Uh, the cell in a tissue may all uh, be the same type or they may be of a different uh, type. 
in either case uh, the cell in the tissue work together to carry out a specific function for example nerve nervous muscles connective and epithelial tissues and connective tissues are fibrous in nature and they are made up of cells that are separated by a extracellular matrix muscles tissues are actively contractile and they are useful for producing force and motions nervous tissues form organ like the brain and the spinal cord epithelial tissues cover the surface of our body various tissue types combine to form a structured unit called organ uh, for example the major organ of animals include a uh, lungs brain liver etc whereas uh, roots stem and leaves are the different organs of plants organ can be classified on the basis of functions they perform for example in case of animals uh, the ear eyes skin and nose are the sensory organs uh, flowers and uh, seeds are the reproductive parts of plants these units are formed by tissue that serve a common function there are uh, two types of uh, tissues that form in an organ the main and sporadic tissues Uh, so sporadic tissues are uh, scattered in occurrence uh, for example in the heart myocardium is the main tissue while the blood nerve and connective uh, tissues are the sporadic an organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform a certain function in an organism bodies um, for example uh, cellular system in animals and vascular system in plants the organs in an organ system are interdependent that is they work in harmony to carry out various body functions uh, for example the digestive system that carries out the process of digestion consists of uh, salivary glands a stomach uh, esophagus uh, gall bladder liver intestines pancreas and rectum all the organ system functioning cooperatively make up of an individual living thing is called organism and organism could either be unicellular or multicellular the one that are closely related uh, can be grouped together under a single genus an organism can be defined as the fully functional form of a living being that can thrive in a particular environment these are the basic levels of organization of uh, living things uh, however in addition to the above and uh, there are other like population uh, community ecosystem biome and biosphere uh, it is necessary to note that the higher we go in this manner it becomes difficult and more complicated to clearly explain the levels uh, which means they are not as simple defined as cell tissue and organ Uh, for example though the ecosystem is placed on uh, one level above community the former is not a group of community roughly defined it is an environment where organism of a different population live together and evolve members of the same species that live together in a given area are considered as the population they undergo interbreeding and share food and space the population of a particular species indicate a close interaction between uh, its organism uh, populations of a several species living and interacting in the same area form a community it is characterized by interactions that take place between the constituent uh, populations of a different species there are various way like competition uh, parasitism uh, and predations uh, uh, for example uh, predation is the biological interaction where one organism uh, the predator kills and eat the other organism and uh, commensalism is a long term biological interaction in which a member of one species gain benefits uh, with those of the other species neither benefit or nor harm uh, and in uh, mutualism in which both organism benefit from each other 
and it is also described as an ecological interaction between two or more species where each species has a net benefit. For example, uh, microbiota is uh, association uh, between uh, plants and fungus. A community can uh, grow in the same region but within the territory marked by the uh, particular constituent populations. Ecosystem as we move up on this ladder of organization, the complexity tends to increase. The term ecosystem is defined as an area or environment where one or more communities can grow and flourish. However, this stage is not the same as community. In fact, it is a greater entity that provides the space for different communities. And thus, the population of many species can uh, live together in a particular ecosystem like a desert, grassland, rainforest, etc. And these are some examples of ecosystem. And the word biome was suggested by an ecologist, uh, Frederick uh, Edward, in the year 1916, which referred to the word biotic community. A biome is uh, mainly defined by its climatic condition like temperature and uh, rainfall. The definition of this stage is made in terms of conditions and not just space, okay, that are suited to a group of communities, for example, plants, animals, microbes living in the same area with specific uh, climatic conditions. Uh, classification of this level is carried out on the basis of certain criteria like the environmental conditions in which the component of organism uh, grow. The structure of plants is an important criteria used for the classifying biomes. For example, it divides the plant into groups like shrubs, uh, trees, grasses, etc. These are the different terrestrial biomes, uh, rainforest, uh, tega. Uh, is uh, actually a uh, cool climate uh, having dense forest of uh, uh, cone bearing trees, um, temperate uh, deciduous forest, uh, for example, maple and oak shed deer leaves in falls. And uh, the other example is uh, grassland, uh, desert, and tundra. In tundra, the area um, is mainly covered with snow and ice. Biosphere is defined as the place, area, and zone where the whole life on Earth exists. And it consists of hydrosphere, uh, means um, the uh, total amount of water on planet. The lithosphere is actually richer the rocky outer layer of the Earth, consists of the crust and the solid outermost layer of the upper mantle. And uh, the atmosphere, along with all above mentioned levels together, uh, make uh, the biosphere. Uh, it is the amalgamation. It means uh, it is the mixture of all the life forms on Earth, right uh, from the microscopic organism to the largest uh, animals, uh, for example, uh, whales, elephant, and uh, oak trees. Uh, thus, the above levels present the systematic structure and functioning of various components of the organization of life forms, the biological or precisely the living entities of our planet uh, make a very complex and sophisticated system as uh, students. Uh, this lecture provides a brief idea of diverse form of life on our planet. If you have any question, we will discuss it in our question answer session. Thank you.